So basically I'm going to be eating on camera. Now if you don't like eating videos, this probably isn't the video for you, but if you do like eating videos, please carry on watching and I hope that you will enjoy the video. So the big question is what am I going to be eating? Well, I have some sandwiches here and they are cheese, cucumber and ham with a bit of salad cream. Now I am a very strict vegetarian so it's not real ham, it's actually this stuff by corn. So it's uh, corn ham, fake ham basically. It tastes really good and uh, it's yeah, it just gives me that flavour of ham without eating meat, you know. Um, over here I have a bowl of quavers, crisps. In this bowl I have some banana sliced up and there's a little treat. I have, I love these, a penguin cake bar. Love them. So with that, I've got a little drink. I've got my Capri Sun orange here. So yeah, I'm going to be eating. Now, basically, this is a big thing for me. I'm quite nervous to do this. Like, I've done previous ASMR eating themed videos, but Normally when I've done those, I've only had like half of my face in and I've always felt really uncomfortable and embarrassed doing them. Hence, I didn't really do that many. <laughs> but I've just got like, I don't know, like really fascinated by the whole mukbang thing. And a lot of my viewers are interested in it and have asked me to do it. So it's like, you know, should I be brave and try it or should I not, you know? And I thought, whatever, I'm just going to try it. This may be the first of many mukbang videos, but it might be the first and last. So, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know what it was. Like Ever since I was a little girl, I've always been uncomfortable about eating in front of people. Seriously. Like, I remember the family meals. You know, you go to a restaurant and oh, I just used to feel so horrible. I'd always ask my mum if she would let me sit in the corner and I'd just literally eat as quick as I could just to get it done. So I was, you know, out of there basically. Um, but I don't know, like, it's just always made me feel uncomfortable. But, you know, I'm getting a bit better. You know, I'm managing to go out and eat a little bit more than I used to, but I, I don't know, I still find it a bit weird. Like, I just get paranoid that people are watching me eat, I get paranoid that like, I don't know, I'm not eating properly, my mouth's like, or if I'm like a, a noisy eater, things like that. So having these paranoias is making me nervous <laughs> to do this video. But as I say, I'm going to give it a go. And you know, yeah, we'll just see, see how I feel and how you feel if you like watching the videos and you know, if I'm going to enjoy doing it. On my channel, I only tend to make videos that I like doing, that I enjoy. There's no point in having a YouTube channel, in my opinion, and doing videos that you don't enjoy doing, you know? So, anyway, I'm waffling just to kind of put myself off of <laughs> getting on with the eating part. <laughs> mm. Anyway, right, so I'm going to start eating now. This is my sandwich. And uh, it's, I've cut it in little triangles. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> mm. I have this like obsession with cheese. Mm. I know it's bad for you and fattening and all that, but I just really love cheese. And the cheese that I've got in this sandwich is cheddar. Um, Probably my favourite cheese. I like Edam. Um, what's it? Edam, Cheshire, Red Leicester. Mm, I just love cheese, basically. The <laughs> only mm. cheese I won't eat, whatever, is blue cheese. I think it's called Stilton, possibly. It's got that like, little bits of mould in it. And it just looks disgusting. I don't know, like, my mum loves it. But I see it in the fridge. I just, oh, I just can't look at it. <laughs> so, 
I don't know if I'm going to eat all of this because, you know, as I say, it's, it's quite nerve wracking. Even knowing that that camera is there is, is making me feel really anxious. But I have a bit of everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> Obviously, a lot of people, you know, are loving this whole mukbang thing. And like, even with ASMR, eating sounds are getting more popular. Right. I never used to, um, you know, like get any tingles from eating sounds and stuff at all. In actual fact, it would make me cringe a bit if I'm honest. But over the last you know, six months or so, I've really gotten into watching eating themed ASMR videos. I don't know what it is, but. Well, like the mouth sounds when someone's eating, I find quite relaxing. Um, if they're having like something really crispy or something, it makes some good sounds. So, um, well, you can understand why people like it, and you know the whole kind of. I was asking around why people, you know, like mukbang so much and the whole kind of having someone eat on camera with you um it's kind of like well there's a few reasons really but the main things i'm finding that it feels like company so if you're sitting there on your own eating dinner eat with me as well you know so that's cool um and also i think if they're on diets and like there are some mukbangs where people are eating like shit loads of junk food and stuff and obviously if you're on a diet you're not supposed to be eating stuff like that um so watching someone else eat all the bad food kind of gives you a, a pleasure without putting on the pounds <laughs> so i couldn't do that i don't think i could watch a mukbang where people are eating loads of junk food well it might be like way too tempting I was just, I was like, I don't know, dangling a carrot in front of a donkey. I just, no, I'd rather not, I'd rather not watch it. I quite enjoyed watching, like, the healthy mukbangs. Especially, like, vegetarian and vegan ones, because obviously I, I get to find out new, you know, ideas for meals and stuff, so that's quite cool. But, you know, if I watch someone eating, like, a load of donuts... No. <laughs> it just made me want to go around the shop and get, get some donuts. <laughs> but, um, no, look. Each their own. You know, I never judge anybody. And by the way, I don't eat the crusts, so I'm going to leave the crust. I've never, like, liked crusts. I was actually thinking of when I've done this whole setup for this video, like, cutting off the crust. <laughs> But then I thought that might look a bit weird, so I didn't do that. But now it's still weird because I'm not eating it, so I might as well just have cut it off in the first place. <laughs> and what I normally tend to do, if I'm honest, when I'm eating a sandwich, is I break it into bits. But obviously I'm on camera, so I'm thinking well, that might look a bit weird as well, so I'm just eating it like this. But I don't normally... I normally just sit there like, this is what I normally do. Get the sandwich, kind of break it off in little bits. I'm going to eat it like that. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do, you know. I'm just going to try and relax and just do what I normally would do if I'm eating. I watched a few um, noodle eating videos and stuff with Mukbang. And... Um, Right. They make a real slurpy sound, you know, when you have noodles. And one of the girls is like, oh, I'm sorry if I'm slurping, but this is what I always do. So I suppose, you know, if you start doing something you don't do, I suppose it's going to look a bit unnatural. So I've just got to be me, basically. So if you're eating at the moment, 
whilst you're watching this comment below what you're having I suppose this is kind of a little lunch little snack snack lunch I, I tend to try and stick to breakfast I like a little bit of cereal always a coffee have to have a coffee right me without coffee is just ridiculous I'm just mm, moody tired grumpy <laughs> This is a mess, look at this. <laughs> and this is why I don't do mukbang videos. <laughs> um, yeah, I have to have a coffee in the morning. Without a coffee, I'm just... Mm. So, yeah, I have my breakfast coffee. And then like about two o'clock... I won't have all this. I mean, obviously, I've added a few more bits to make the video a bit more exciting as such than just a sandwich. But I probably would just have a sandwich, a little cake bar. And then in the evening, I like to have a nice dinner. Um, I don't want to, like, tend to eat too late. Mainly because it's not good, like, diet-wise. You know, you shouldn't eat too late and all that. Um, but also because... I just get really bad indigestion and heartburn if I eat too late. God, sandwiches are really nice. I'm going to have a little bit more of this one. <laughs> I'm relaxing now. I'm just going to pig it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I don't tend to eat that late. I've been getting into like having a lot of roast dinners lately, which is good good for me, like lots of vitamins from the vegetables and stuff. Um, I will have, like, cauliflower, cabbage, broccoli, sweet corn, with um like little baby potatoes oh i love baby potatoes so much um and then i'll have like a fake meat supplement so it could be fake steak fake um actually what i've been loving recently the uh, corn steak slices mm, no nice or fake corn steak pie which is pretty similar really Mmm, lovely. Um, I'll put some gravy on it. Bisto, the red one. We always used to have the brown box gravy, but the red one is like more delicious in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been having a lot lately. A nice roast dinner, as it fills you up, and I know that I'm getting my vitamins, so it makes me feel kind of healthy. Mmm, no, I've like. A little bit of a dessert, maybe. <laughs> like, I've always had like issues with my weight. Like I know I'm not skinny. You know I'm I'm never going to be skinny. I'm saying that. There was a time in the past I was actually a size eight, which is hard to believe. I know. Like, I was about. I was know, about sixteen, fifteen, sixteen. I'd always been like a chubby kid chubby teenager and then I just kind of got to a stage where I just didn't want to be chubby and I yeah I had a lot of like, body image issues um I'm not going to kind of go into it now it's a bit depressing during this but um I thought I'm hanging out with you and opening up whatever eating food like a weirdo breaking sandwiches up um <laughs> but yeah I did have an eating disorder and that made me basically lose a lot of weight to a point where I got to a size eight um which is ridiculous. Like, like some people are intended to be slim, skinny, etc. And that's fine. But I think I'm one of those people that... Like, just isn't. I'm meant to be a bit curvy and stuff. It's, I, all my family pretty much are curvy or bigger. So I think... I don't know. I think it's in my genes not to be skinny. <laughs> Plus, when I was skinny... I, I still didn't feel confident, really. I felt very gaunt and ill, and it just didn't feel right. And all I ever wanted was to get into smaller size clothes, but when I did, I still found myself paranoid and uncomfortable, so I don't think it was a 
you have to be this size to feel good about yourself because I got to that size and I still don't feel good about myself. So I think it's about like an inner journey that you have to do with yourself. Maybe I should do like a vlog on this in the future. I don't know. I've never really kind of opened up about my eating disorders thing. Uh, a lot of people have had it and I don't know. I think it's becoming more, you know, open to talk about now. But I don't know. I'm a very open person, as you know, if you're a regular of my view, I say how it is and I say about my life and my past and, you know, my problems and stuff. But I don't know, I've just never kind of said about the eating thing because, I don't know, I, I, I don't know I'm just always a bit awkward. When it comes to anything food related, it is quite awkward for me. I've done all right though. I mean, all right, I've broken it up into bits. It looks a mess, but I've managed to eat a bit of my sandwiches. So that's good. We're doing all right. Um, like already... It's only June and I'm panicking for December because December is the Christmas work lunch. <sighs> now don't get me wrong, I love the people I work with, like they're really nice. Well two of them, you know, one's my mum and one's Nathan, so that's fine. Um we work together as well. But obviously there's other bosses and people that come along for the meal. So in total there's probably about eight or nine. And I'm fine with my mum and Nathan, but with like other people, I just, I just get so anxious, so nervous. Um, and sometimes when I'm nervous, I feel like, I don't know, this is weird probably, but I feel like I can't eat properly. Like I start to feel like I'm going to choke or I just get really hot, sweats and I just, oh, I just hate. I hate the prospect of the Christmas dinner and I always try and get out of it but you know I can't because it, it looks really rude and you know I do love seeing my bosses and hanging out with them and having a chat a giggle we always have a good laugh you know but I just wish we could do that about the food <laughs> and I pretty much always order like the least out of everybody can have some crisps now quavers <laughs> um I always have like the, the least I can possibly have, like a salad. Everyone else will have like these massive meals, like Christmas dinners and whatever, but I'm like, oh no, no, I'm not that hungry. Really, I'm like fucking starving. <laughs> but I just have literally a salad or a, a really small jacket potato. And when it gets to the dessert, like, oh, like I'm proper craving dessert, but... I won't have it. I'll just have like a little ice cream or something. One year, um, one of the bosses had like this massive chocolate sundae and it was like, oh God, it was filled with like everything. Like ice cream, cream, marshmallow, chocolate. Mm, so nice. I can eat it. And he was like, oh, no, would you, um, why don't you order that? You know, I was like, no, no, it's all right. I, I couldn't eat it. I was like, so good, <laughs> but not in front of all them. <laughs> I think I've always been like worse in front of men for some reason. Like as I was younger, I just, you know, when you're a teenager and you start getting asked out, and you know, how oh, would you like to come, you know, and have a lunch with me? And I was like, oh, oh, no, thank you. And my grandma, bless her, she's sadly gone now, but. She always used to say to me, Laura, get over this stupid eating thing. You know, the whole paranoia about eating in front of people, it's got to stop because, you know, when you're older, lots of men will ask you out for dinner. And if you keep saying no, you're never going to get married. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you know, I'm engaged now, so that's all right. But I could see where she was coming from. It, it was silly, it is silly, but you know, we've all got our hang-ups and our, our things, you know. But, um, I mean, when I first met Nathan, I was very honest with him. I was like, I've got a bit of an eating problem. I don't really like eating in front of people. And it makes me really, like, nervous and uncomfortable. And he was so nice, so understanding. He was like, oh, that's fine. You know, when you're comfortable, we'll start eating together and stuff. And I remember, this is really embarrassing, but true. I... <laughs> We'd been together like a month or so and I'd ordered a pizza um, for both of us to share. And when it turned up, I just got so nervous I couldn't eat it. 
and he was like, babe, you know, I'm trying to eat it, you know, just don't worry about me, you know, just eat it, relax. So the only way that I could actually eat this pizza, because I was starving, obviously because I'd ordered it, was if we were sat back to back, so he couldn't see me, and I could see him, and then I could eat. It's so weird, looking back, like, but it true. That's how bad, you know, it was, you know. I mean, there was even times when I used to have our dinner, like, in the dark. Like, seriously, I would turn all the lights out. Poor bugger, I couldn't even see where all the food was. He was like, babe, I can't see the... I can't see my fork, I can't see, like, oh. I mean, it was that bad that I could only eat with, like, really low lighting. Now I'm fine with Nathan. I have to say, he's, like, well, the way I see it, we're engaged. You know, I mean, without being graphic, he clearly sees me naked. So if he sees me stuffing my face and so be it, you know, I've kind of got over that awkwardness with him. I love Capri Suns, by the way. I really wanted to have my Pepsi Max with this because it's my favourite um, chocolate bar. Oh, chocolate bar? I've got chocolate bars on the brain. I'm looking at it. It's my favourite chocolate bar. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favourite drink, um, but I know that every time I get like a Pepsi Max and drink it, I just burp like a bitch, and I didn't want to do that on camera. I'm trying not to burp so bad because I do burp a lot, but I'm trying not to for the purpose of the video. Right, so now I've got some sliced banana. Bananas are really good for you, and they taste lovely. I tend to eat a lot of fruit. More so in summer. I think most people are like that. I know I should eat fruit all year round. Well, I do a bit, but I do definitely have more fruit in summer because it's you know it's hot out there and I just want something refreshing and I love bananas. They're so they're so soft and so sweet and I love them. Kind of quiet. <laughs> I don't like quiet. Quiet makes me uncomfortable as well. That's why most of my friends are people who are quite chatty. Right, if I'm around quiet people, I tend to feel more anxious. You know? It's like, that's that awkward silence. You don't know what to say and that is so uncomfortable. It's weird because like, there's no one here, clearly. It's just me and the camera. But I feel like you're here with me. Right, if you feel like you're watching me eat and I'm with you, then it is definitely like roles reversed as well. I feel like we're together. And I'm all right, you know, eating. Like, it was a big thing for me. Like, I know it sounds really silly, but it is. So I feel like I've achieved something doing this. And yeah. <laughs> I've just got to conquer the Christmas dinner. <laughs> I'm really pleased with the way the channel's going. I right, just literally looked at my subs this morning. And it's gone up like 40 in one day. 40 subs, yeah, it's crazy. I remember a time I was getting like one sub a day and then losing a few and then... You know, like, it was just hard to get it started, but, yeah, it's good, you know, I've just got literally over 24,000 viewers now. Thank you if you're subscribed. Um, and it, it's, it's exciting, you know, it really is. And like, I know it's not all about subscriber numbers, it's not, clearly. Like, most of the videos I actually watch are actually artists, ASMR artists and stuff, who are less well-known, have less subs, but... They just do it for me. They relax me. They make me smile. I like them. It's not about how many have you got. You know, there's some... I'm not going to name names, don't worry. But there are some bigger artists who are more well-known in ASMR. And probably, like, other YouTube genres as well. And I get a little bit arrogant, a little bit cocky, a bit, you know, a bit just not very friendly with their viewers and stuff. And that pisses me off. I tend to watch people who are just nicer people. But, I was an artist who, who makes videos, a lot of videos, on my channel. I, you know, it's a reward for me to you know, have people watching and 
you know, subscribe means, you know, they've watched my video, they've liked me enough to subscribe, because I watch a lot of videos on YouTube, but I don't subscribe to all the channels, but, you know, you know, if someone subscribes to you, they must like you, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. So, you know, it's, it's very flattering for me to get subscribers and stuff, and I love... It's chocolate time now. I'm happy. <laughs> um, I love replying to comments and stuff. Like, I get a lot of people saying to me, oh, I can't believe you know you reply to all your comments, you know. Even though your channel's growing, you still reply. Of course I still reply. I find it so bad when people don't re like, respond and reply to comments that viewers have left. Right. No, if they're taking a time out to comment you, you should comment them back. It's respect, it's friendly, it's nice, you know? And I do find with me when I comment on a video and that person doesn't reply at all. Now, it's fair to, you know, like they're not going to reply to every comment, I get that. But like, when you can see that they're not replying to anyone, ever, I just find it really rude. Like, I just don't like it and I tend not to watch them again. That's the truth. I'm very, like, you know, strong on that. You haven't got good rapport with your viewers as a um, YouTuber, then I don't want to watch her. I want to see people who are friendly and like, answer questions and, and reply to comments and stuff. You know, it's nice. And I vowed that when I started my channel, I would always reply to comments. Like, always. And um, I always have. Even the trolls. Trust me, sometimes <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't answer trolls because that's what they want, but I can't help it. I've got to reply to them. I've got to, you know, stick up for myself or be sarcastic back to them or whatever, you know. But I'll always reply to comments. That's the way it is. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Do 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 do. But yeah, but yeah. Hmm. <laughs> so yeah, I might do another mukbang video in the future. I might not. I don't know. I'm just going to see what the response is to this video. It's kind of like a trial, trial mukbang, and also. As I say, how I felt about doing it. And at the moment, I'm still feeling awkward, but my level of awkwardness has gone down a bit. I'm not quite as nervous now. I feel a bit more chilled out and relaxed. I'm still paranoid that I at my sandwich like that. I mean, look at it. Everyone else probably holds it all neat and tidy, but I don't. <laughs> But yeah, um, if you've got any suggestions, if I do decide to do another mukbang video for what you'd want to see me eat, remember please, only vegetarian, you know, I don't want me, you know, oh you should eat a nice sirloin steak or whatever, because it's not going to happen. I've been a vegetarian since I was 14, so I'm not, you know, once, that's it, I'm not going back to the meat. Um, also, I don't suggest anything too hard or crunchy. <laughs> Sorry, I was just going to say I don't like anything hard in my mouth and then I thought, oh my god, that sounds so wrong right there. So I say it anyway, but um, no, because I've got fillings, I never have like like two hard or crunchy things in case it breaks my fillings and stuff. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. If you've got any ideas, let me know. Mm. God, I love Capri Sun. I remember when I was a little girl at school in my lunchbox my mum would put in these and on the days I would get them I'd be like yeah I got a Capri Sun the tropical ones are nice as well but I think just normal orange you can't beat it mm. right I better go <laughs> thank you so much for watching uh, please click like if you like the video um, please subscribe <laughs> I'm going to go and kind of tidy all this up now. Um, and that's it. Thank you for watching. Take care. Mwah. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, by the way, do you like my Pokemon hat?
Pokemon. Pikachu. It's cool, isn't it? Anyway, see you later. <laughs>